it's Doug with the Mahoney Mind Channel. Today we're going to do something really different. As many of you know, up near Virginia City, we have an 1880s gold and silver mine. This is one of your old tunnel drift mines that went back and got closed down when they locked in the price of gold at $35 an ounce. This video, if you watch it in its entirety, you're going to learn something because we're going to take just regular old raw ore and smelt it down until it's precious metals. This is still a really productive mine. We haven't had any challenges with getting the gold because it's easy to do. We crush the ore, we gravity separate with a vibrating sluice and pan it out. The same way they did it a hundred years ago. But the silver is an entirely different story. We haven't been able to identify what the silver looks like. We haven't been able to identify the type of ore it's coming out of. But boy, it's up there. So I want to try something different today. I'm going to take some of the tailings that we panned out and that's going to be really heavy material that was left in the sluice and after we pan it and get the gold out of it we're going to take what's left and smelt it and see how much silver is in it. Now when we do smelting the flux that we use is a proprietary flux that works really really well with our ore and we always do two to one twice the amount of flux as what we're smelting. So normally when I measure it out, I'll measure out 200 grams of ore, put in 400 grams of flux, and then mix it all up and keep doing that until I think I've got enough to fill a crucible. Also while smelting, the crucible, the ore and the flux inside the crucible, because of the heat, that will expand and you gotta be real careful not to overflow your crucible. So after it's through expanding, when it finally goes back down and your crucible is only about half full, then I can add the remainder of the flux. We smelt our ore at around 2100 degrees and then we cupel it. When we smelt, it's a two-part process. First, we smelt the ore, then we cupel down the results. We put a collector metal at the bottom of the crucible, heat everything up to 2100 degrees, let it cook for an hour, hour and a half, let that collector metal collect all of the precious metals, and then when it cools, we put it into a conical mold, and when we get the button off the top, then that has to be cupeled down. Cupel is made out of bone ash and it will absorb everything other than the precious metals. Tanya has begun making jewelry out of what we're getting out of the mine and it's going to be gold and silver jewelry, genuine Comstock load or jewelry. From Tanya, Radar, and I, thank you for watching. Now, get off the couch. The adventure's out there. To all of our followers and subscribers, I'd like to say thank you. This channel has taken off like a rocket. So make sure you smash the like button, hit subscribe, stay tuned.